All right, so how's everybody doing today? Um, I know it's been a couple of months since I've put out a video. I haven't really been feeling like doing the whole YouTube thing and putting out videos. I've kind of, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say that I've been depressed, but I've just had a lot of things going on uh, in my life that has kind of made some of my hobbies not really, like I just, I haven't had uh, a passion for them like I used to, so I just have, haven't, making videos has kind of been put on the back burner right now. Um, with my current uh, job situation, it's really eating into my mental and my physical ability to just want to enjoy things in life. And that has really, it's really taken a toll on me. So I'm trying to find an, another job to hopefully better my mood, better my financial situation, and hopefully just make things a lot better. Uh, that's not to say that I'm not still interested in things, because I am. I just haven't really found the drive to want to want to do things. Um, because I know, you know, I've, I've always been into photography. I've always been into making videos and, and doing all the random things that I do on my channel. But it's just, it's been kind of difficult when you have such a stressful thing in the back of your head that's constantly eating at you because it you know you guys you know you get it it's it's america we have to deal with you know going to work every day we have to deal with taxes we have to deal with inflation and i'm not going to try and get into all of that but a lot of that stuff really eats into uh, your enjoyment of life and it's kind of made it to where it's it's been difficult i won't go into a lot of detail because i work at one of those places where if i was caught saying where i work and telling all the things that go on you know your job could be in jeopardy so um that being said i mean i still do plan to uh, keep this channel going. It's just, it may take me a little bit of time to get back on board with doing all the things that I want to do. Um, so it's just, it's been, it's been difficult. It's been different. And I've been, you know, dealing with a lot of, a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of it is, is mostly just mental stuff. Um, I know it kind of sounds like I'm rambling on, but I just, I wanted to get a video out. I didn't really have, I didn't really plan on what I was going to say. So it probably just sounds like I'm kind of rambling on. Um, so like I've been doing a lot of like online courses to try and help me get something uh, better in, in terms of a job. So that's why I haven't been putting out videos because I've been trying to focus on that. And then um, last week and the week before that, we all got sick with the C word, which apparently you're not allowed to say on YouTube, whatever. Um, so, so yeah, I just wanted to try and update you guys that to let you know that, yes, I still do plan on uploading videos. I just, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get back on track, hopefully. Um, if things go as planned and if things go that I want them go the way that I want them to go. Uh, so, I mean, one of the things that I have, have been kind of messing around with is, uh, mechanical keyboards. So I got this, uh, Yunzi B75 Pro. Um, I've not had a lot of experience with mechanical keyboards, but, uh, it's, it's a crazy rabbit hole that you can go down, and there are so many different switches, keycaps, uh, dampening that you can do on these keyboards, and it's just opened up a whole different crazy world out there. And I knew that mechanical keyboards were obviously a thing. I knew that 
there were different switches, but I didn't know the, the extent of what you could do. So this is, so this one, the B75 Pro, it's a very creamy keyboard. It's got the uh, Coco Cream V2, I think, switches or V3, and they're very, very nice. Um, one of the reasons for that is that the price and the cost for mechanical keyboards and the switches and the keycaps have come down a lot. I remember, you know, about, this was probably three years ago, maybe four, four to three, three to four years ago, I can't talk. It, they were, they were pretty pricey and now you can get a really good mechanical keyboard for like 60 bucks and, and that's like an aluminum housing that's dampening that's really good switches pre-lube switches and it's really crazy how how cheap and how far it's come so uh that's something that i'm kind of toying around with and one of the reasons is be, is because um i've on the side when i aren't when i'm not doing other kinds of courses i'm doing programming courses on the side and learning how to do that so i wanted a little bit better keyboard and that kind of opened up this crazy world because for the longest time I've used a <clears throat> this is a Logitech K780 and this has been my go-to keyboard on any computer system I've had probably ever since this came out and this was I mean this thing's been out for 10 12 13 years but I like it's a membrane keyboard but I like the round keys and I always felt like I've been able to type on this the best. Now, this is still one of my most favorite keyboards ever. And, uh, but I've also found that if you have a really nice creamy filling keyboard like the B75, it's, it's really nice. Um, I'll probably do like a little sound test video because I also have this real, really cheap one. I got this on Prime Day. This one was 15 bucks and then I got switches with the echo uh silver switches and i put those in it so uh yeah that's kind of it i don't know if i'm going to put this in a separate video by itself but it'll just be kind of like an update and let you guys know where i'm at uh what's going on uh i still do have a video test like a 4k video test that i want to do with my uh, phone's camera um it's just like I said, it's it's going to take some time because of all the stuff that's going on. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys will stick around. Um, if you do, cool. If you don't, it's whatever because I don't make money off of YouTube. I just put things out there that uh, I think are cool or, you know, it's, it's it was my hobby channel. Um, so yeah, talk to you guys later.